much. And Sundar, thank you so much for making the time after so, that fantastic keynote. So great to be here. Thank you. So this is pretty much the biggest overhaul of search that we've seen in, what, two decades? This new experience will be available to over a billion users by the end of the year. Why did you wait until now? You know, in some ways, we've been evolving it continuously. The good thing about search is people comfortably use it. They take it for granted. We've been answering questions for a while. But with generative AI, we can do it a lot better. We've been testing it for a while, and we now feel it's the right moment to roll it out broadly. And feedback has been good, right, from the users? Yeah, user engagement it. has been positive. Uh, the feedback has been great. I think it makes the product much better, and so it's a great direction. What about advertisers? Because this will change the business model. In some cases, you're going to get links from a traditional search. In some cases, you're going to get a generative AI answer, which would move those links lower down on the page. Are they ready for this moment? What are you telling them about their ability to reach your users? You know, the great thing is users still value commercial information. Our ads work based on intent and quality and relevant at the right time. We've been able to test that in the context of AI overviews, and it's working well as we expected it to. So I think it'll be a you know, smooth transition, and that's what we are seeing. I think I heard Liz Reed say that it's leading to more searches, mm -hmm. but the generative AI or AI overview, as you're calling it, is it leading to more or less clicks? In, in general, we find you know, it, it's both overall increasing usage and when we look at it year on year, we've been able to grow traffic to the ecosystem. So we are, compared to most other players, we are prioritizing you know, approaches which will uh, generate traffic as well. So we are working hard on that. Does it change the business model? How are you thinking about that? You know, I think about a year ago, people had questions on whether this would cost too much to serve. You know, we brought down costs 80%. I don't think that would be a concern. Uh, I think the way we, we've been at work and the way we are rolling it out, you know, I, I feel like we are set up in a pretty good way and we can build on from here. The highly anticipated Google I.O. 2024 event had some significant updates for us as Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Alphabet, delivered major announcements regarding the company's AI technologies. The stock went up after the event, and the company delivered many amazing news for investors. So in today's video, we will cover the event's key announcements and whether they mean that Alphabet stock is now a good buy or not. But before we do that, if you want to keep up with Alphabet's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account, we post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. And the demo, you know, captured a lot of people's imaginations. Are those products, those features available right now? When are they available? Uh, you know, Project Astra is something we are working to bring to Gemini, uh, you know, but we'll do it sometime this year. It will be quality driven, just like with Google Lens. Uh, we are going to test it out, give it to more people, but then roll it out widely. That's what we did with search, and so we, have, we know how to do it and scale it up. Is that fast enough when ChatGPT shows a demo, or OpenAI shows a demo a day before I.O., and now those, some of those features are being used right now? Can you guys move faster? I don't think they've shipped their demo to their users yet, too. I don't think it's available in the product. So I think all of us are, you know, we are working at the cutting edge technology and bringing it as fast to our products as possible. Uh, I, think, I think it's good to be in that moment, but you know, we, we have a clear sense of how, how to approach it and we'll get it right. You've said before that Google's competitive advantage in Gen AI is the quality of your data, not just the quantity of it. There was a report that OpenAI trained GPT-4 on millions of hours of YouTube videos. Would you sue OpenAI for violating your terms? Like, I think it's a question for them to answer. Uh, uh, you know, I don't have anything to add. We do have clear terms of service. And, and so, you know, I think normally in these things, we engage with, with, with companies and make, make sure they understand our terms of service and we'll sort it out. Are you doing anything to determine if they broke your terms? Uh, we, you know, we, we have processes to do that. I'm not exactly familiar. Google's big annual developer gathering had a few surprises up its sleeve with artificial intelligence stealing most of the show. And with the rise in popularity of tools like ChatGPT and Copilot, Google is going all in on its investment in generative AI, particularly with its Gemini model. 
This powerhouse AI not only fuels Google's own chatbot, but also plays a role in features for devices like Samsung's Galaxy series. With that being said, Google expanded Gemini AI functionality across various applications. It introduced some key updates to the Gemini family of models, including the new Gemini 1.5 Flash, a lightweight model designed for speed and efficiency. Additionally, Gemini 1.5 Pro, a powerful AI model, will be available to Gemini advanced subscribers. Also, searching with Google is getting a tremendous boost with new Gemini features such as faster answers with AI overview, creating a travel itinerary, and the ability to use video to solve problems. And in a move that many saw as a way to compete with OpenAI, especially after Apple chose OpenAI as an AI partner rather than Google, Google launched VO, a high-definition video generation model, and Imagine 3, the highest quality text-to-image model to date. The sixth generation of Google Cloud TPUs, named Trillium, was also introduced, offering significant improvements in performance and energy efficiency. And while Google didn't directly show off or mention features specifically about Android 15, much to the disappointment of Android enthusiasts, the company did share how more AI features are coming to Android. For example, there will be a broader rollout of Circle to Search, and there's also an AI feature called TalkBack for Android, that's more of an accessibility tool to announce descriptions of photos for those who are blind or have limited eyesight. Google also unveiled the AI Assistant of the Future with Project Astra, which uses video you capture with the phone and voice recognition to deliver contextual responses to your questions. Finally, and this is also great news for NVIDIA investors, CEO Sundar Pichai said that Google will be one of the first companies with NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs which will be available in early 2025. Unlike previous Google I.O. keynotes, this one didn't involve hardware announcements or teasers of any kind, but that doesn't make it any less impressive, and the software and AI announcements were pretty good. So let's talk about Alphabet stock and whether it's a buy now after the event. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Over the years, owning shares of Alphabet was considered a smart decision as in the past decade, Investors have been rewarded with a tremendous 555% return, exceeding the Nasdaq Composite's 299%. This raises the question whether or not to add Alphabet to your portfolio now. So, let's find out the answer. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. Alphabet pleased its shareholders when it announced revenue growth of 15% in its 2024 Q1 earnings, which marked the fifth quarter straight that year-over-year -year sales accelerated. Additionally, its search and YouTube segments are both putting up solid results, with more than 75% of Alphabet's revenue being derived from ad services. The global digital advertising market is expected to surpass $1.3 trillion by 2033, and being an advertising giant, Google will definitely benefit the most. In fact, the company's share of digital advertising revenues worldwide was projected to amount to 39% in 2023, and if it continues to grow that share, revenues would definitely increase, and so would the stock price. This makes Alphabet positioned for long term success. And one obvious reason to back this up is its pristine financial position. As of March 31, the tech giant had $108 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities on its balance sheet, which was way higher than its debt burden of $13 billion. And the company continues to generate copious amounts of free cash flow each quarter, so much so that management finally instituted a quarterly dividend. This means that not only can Alphabet easily cover its interest payments and pay back any principal, but it also has the financial resources to keep investing aggressively in growth initiatives, no matter how the broader economy is faring. So it's no surprise that Wall Street loves this stock and sees massive potential for it. According to Wall Street analyst estimates, the company's revenue is projected to rise at a yearly clip of 11.4% over the next three years and with ongoing operational improvements, earnings per share are slated to increase at a compound annual rate 
of 19.2% during that time, which is certainly enough to excite investors. Additionally, it's difficult to envision Google's dominant competitive standing coming under any serious threat anytime soon, and the fees of OpenAI's ChatGPT disrupting Google search appear to be overblown, as Google still has roughly 90% search engine market share worldwide, even after 18 months since ChatGPT first launched. And now that the company is going all in with its own generative AI tools that could compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT and Sora, while OpenAI didn't announce a direct competitor to Google Search during its own event on Monday, Google seems to be in a very good position right now. It's not just advertising and generative AI that's making analysts and investors alike bullish on Alphabet stock. In fact, the company's position in cloud is also extremely impressive. Alphabet's Google Cloud won 11% market share of the global cloud market in Q1 of this year means that while AWS is dominating the cloud market by roughly 47%, Google Cloud could play catch up with more investments in cloud and AI developments. The cloud computing market is expected to reach $1.44 trillion by 2029, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 16.4% from 2024 to 2029, and with consistent growth for Google Cloud, their share of the pie will definitely be significant. In fact, even if they kept growing at 11%, they'd add $158 billion to their cloud revenues by 2029, which is extremely good considering that the company made $33 billion with cloud last year. With that being said, Alphabet's strong financial position, dominant market share, and promising growth prospects make it an attractive long-term investment. The company has consistently delivered robust revenue and earnings growth, possesses tremendous financial flexibility to fund future initiatives, and maintains commanding market share in online search and digital advertising despite competitive threats. So, for investors willing to tolerate the short-term volatility for long-term gains, Alphabet stock remains a compelling stock to earn for its potential to continue generating market-beating returns. But, what do you think about Alphabet stock? And what are your expectations for the company's future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation for Alphabet is. If you would like to know more about the latest updates about companies like Alphabet, then go ahead and click on the next video on your screen.